Welcome back to Waste Wheels, everyone. Hector Aniello here, and today we're unboxing and installing um, the RNG radiator card for the KTM A90 Duke R. Now, um, I got this part basically because I, I'm going to be doing a lot of miles this summer and I don't want the smallest of rocks just ruining my life on the road. So um, radiator guards are really not the most obvious part to put on your bike, but kind of like the, one of the most simple and really necessary ways that you can protect your bike when you're on the road. So um, this is what it comes in the box the actual radiator guard and it looks pretty nice like the it, the paint doesn't look like it's gonna fade anytime soon the build looks pretty sturdy and yeah and it has this bag here with I'm guessing all the parts that you need some like from here I can see some zip ties some like foam parts I'm guessing for, for the installation the actual installation instructions uh, some stickers and some screws now, uh, as always, I'm going to leave this in here for now and I'm going to show you in the garage when I uh, open everything up and get to installing. Um, so yeah, also, also, I got the RNG one because it was only the, it was the only orange option that I could find. Uh, KTM does not make their own um, power parts for the radiator guard and the only other one I could find was the EvoTech Performance one. Uh, that like also looked pretty good, but it, they only had it in black and I've said before like if you have a KTM and you want to put some extra stuff on there um, You should always find it orange. So RNG Pretty good job with the color. It looks awesome. The orange it actually looks like the KTM orange uh, color so yeah, it should be pretty simple should be about about um, around 20 to 30 minutes to install so let's get to it. Let's go to the garage and let's get to installing. <clears throat> okay guys, we're back here and we're installing the radiator guard. Now, uh, per the instructions, it looks pretty straightforward. Um, so what you need to do before starting is that you get these strips with the radiator guard. We need to do, sorry for my dirty hands, I've been, been here all day, I had the windscreen in the back. Anyways, um, so, for what you need to do is cut this into 10 mil strips uh, vertically and uh, attach it to the sides of the radiator guard. I don't know if you can see that. To the sides of the radiator guard like so. Uh, that way it separates the actual radiator from the guard, okay? So after you do that, you can get to uh, the wrenching, which is first step is take the, the bolts. I'm gonna I'm gonna get the light and then I'll, I'll come back. Okay, we're back. So the first step is to take is to take out these bolts right here. So with a wrench, um, you just go ahead and and do that. They look, they look pretty easy to take off. So take these off. That's the screw. Set them aside. So, oh. okay, so take those out. Perfect. One, two. And then uh, the next step after that is to actually present the guard. So, okay, so it comes with these two screws and washers. So what you need to do is put, I just washed you, how are you dirty again? So what we need to do is put the guard onto the bike like so and then screw, wash and then
And then it says you got four zip ties. So what you get is picture three. It shows you that you apparently need to loop the cable ties around around this top. No, so let's do that. That we'll cut them in a few. That's one. And then to get the other one, it's easier if we just do that. So that's one. That's it. So we get our cable cutters. And we snip snip. Like that, other side, and like that, and that's it. Honestly, wow, that looks amazing. The orange is the same tone as the KTM orange. Like I said, if you have a KTM, the way to go is always orange. So uh, there you have it, guys. That's the radiator guard for the A90. Duke R. That's how it looks, the final product. Thank you all for watching. Um, this is part of my, I guess, my touring. This is not really a touring accessory. It's an everything accessory, but this is part of my touring mod for my KTM. If you want to watch more, just stay tuned. Let me know. Have a good one.